We are here with Mason. We're right outside Mike the Tiger's cage on a Friday afternoon, right before the Alabama LSU game. He plans to come to LSU next year. He's a senior in high school. How long have you been an LSU fan, Mason? Since I was born, it's just it's hard to turn down LSU in Louisiana. What do you are you have anything planned to say to Alabama fans you see around here? Uh, just be careful because there's gonna be a lot of people shouting tiger bait. <laughs> I hear they follow the Alabama fans around and just yell it continuously. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I'd probably say that. <laughs> Were you, um, did you go to New Orleans this past year? Uh, for the championship game? Yeah. No, ma'am, I did not. I watched it on TV. You did? How, how do you feel about after that game? Um, I feel like, I feel like it was a very humbling experience mm -hmm. because there was a lot of games where you could just tell by the third quarter that the game was pretty much in hand, but the team kept fighting. So it's pretty good for this year for them to already face adversity. Definitely. How do you feel, what's the outcome of this game going to be tomorrow? What do you think? Uh, I feel like LSU is going to pull it out. Uh, there's nothing like a Saturday night game in Death Valley. That's what we've heard. That's what we heard. I heard um, Les Miles has had 31 games and he's only lost one home game. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. Wow, that's a pretty incredible record. Well, can I get a roll, Todd? Go Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.